Limelight is a really good ensemble in the Electronic Instruments Volume 2 collection from Native Instruments. And one of the um, funny things about it is that a lot of people are using it and they don't realize that there is an error. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to play this. There's a small beat that I've programmed here using just default 808 sounds. So I'll play this. Firstly, let me just take tie off. Okay, so have a listen. So everything's cool there, just you know, very simple drum pattern. The top area here is providing the programming for that. Now underneath, we've got another grid here. If I click on this, you can see it's changing. So when I'm selecting tie, you can see some positions that I've actually drawn information in. So we've also got high above the line. There is, imagine a horizontal line here. You don't see it drawn, but there is one there. So this information is lower, this information is higher. I'm gonna put tie back on and I'm gonna solo it. And this is how it sounds. Now, depending on your speakers, you may or may not hear that. If you've got headphones on, you'll hear it. It's actually not particularly a pleasant sound. It's a clicky noise, really. You know, there's nothing nice about that at all. And anything that I do here is not going to affect how that sounds. So there is actually a bug in the ensemble that needs to be changed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how we can actually do that. If you come down to the WAV control here, right click or on your single button mouse, that's control plus click, and we come down to show in structure. We've now got the structure, and what you need to do is head over to the tie module that I've selected here, and we need to bring up properties. So it's F4, bring it over to the side here. Click on the functions tab, and then down here where it says mode, oscillator mode, you've got to untick and that's basically going to fix it. So then you can save the ensemble as a replacement for this existing one. So have a listen now. Can you hear now Ty is playing the cowbell? And of course, the height relates to modulation information. If I drop this, I could, for example, select WAV. Switching the samples or tune. So it's playing chromatically now. And let's take it off of solo. So tie, that's how it's supposed to behave. Just switching it to a different sample now in the list. And you couldn't do that before because of the fact that the module was set incorrectly. So that's what you need to do to change it. Then save your ensemble and then you're ready to roll.